go. Hello, I'm Bruce Cheney, and today I'd like to share with you a student investigation and project assignment dealing with objects rolling down a table. Now, this is actually part of our study into speed and acceleration and inertia, and it actually is going to give students the opportunity to examine what factors might affect how quickly an object can roll from the top of the table down to the bottom. So, let's take a closer look. Now I've collected quite a few objects that roll, but if we examine them closely, we find they'll fit into one of five categories. Now we have solid spheres, large and small, and we have hollow spheres. There's solid cylinders, wide and narrow, and we have hollow cylinders, now sometimes they are called hoops. Try this one, there we go. And then our fifth category would be a wheel and axle. And then I have a number of pieces that are combinations of two of the categories together. For example, this one's weighted on one side. I have ones that are weighted on the outside. And then here's one that's weighted on the inside. And not all of them are round. Now, some pieces you wouldn't expect to roll at all, like these two circles joined together, but it actually rolls very nicely. Here we have two circles joined at the end. Let's watch it from the edge view. Another option is to look at cylinders filled with some type of liquid. We have some that are going to roll faster than others. Now, after running some trials, students are going to see that the shape is going to influence the acceleration. So some objects will be faster than others. All right, now, after the students do some investigations, hopefully their conclusions will help them with the next part of this assignment. Now, my final challenge is actually a building project centering around this table that I have set up as a race course. Now, what I do is I ask my students to make two objects. One object is going to move down the table as slowly as possible, and then the second object is going to move down the table as quickly as possible. And then on the designated day, we have the students bring them in, and we have a series of races. Now, a race course is simply one of the tables that's propped up at one end. It has two lanes which are separated by a meter stick, and then the finish line has a checkered flag just to give it a nice touch. Now, today's race day, here's some of the pieces that the students brought in. Let's see some of the races. Well, we'll start with a few of the fast options. Oh, that is sick, that. Whoa! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Three. No! No! Oh! 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 Three. Three. Oh! Yeah! One, two, three. Oh! 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 oh. 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 One, two, three, go. Oh, oh. Oh, Run. As long as she makes it. Come on, make it. Three, go. Oh, Josh. Oh. It went so fast earlier. One, two, three, go. Now they do have to reach the finish line to win. Three, go. Oh my god. The winner is Lucas! Lucas! Now 
my video on moment of inertia, we'll do a simple demonstration that shows why these shapes make a difference. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!